Hey guys, so I don't know how long it's been since my last video. I know it's maybe been a year, and before that it was probably like two years. So I'm six years and two months on T tomorrow. Well, t I guess today. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know about some changes that have happened since my last update. And I'll show you guys my my chest after uh, four years. So it's been like four and a half years since my top surgery. So first off, I'm letting my hair grow out on top. Because um, I used to have it just shaved really short. I would have probably like this much on top because my hair is really curly. But I'm trying to embrace it. <laughs> and... I'm trying to um, just let it go for a little while, see how long I can let it go. So other than that, um, I have some minor changes because once you've been on testosterone for so long, uh, you don't really have major changes anymore. I have noticed that my voice is not necessarily uh, changing, but it's aging. So rather than being told that I sound like I'm 16 or looking like I'm 16 uh, they say more like 20s like mid 20s so that's kind of a good thing because I was I'm 31 and I'm kind of tired of people thinking that I'm 16 and you know never to be able to do anything like an 18 year old can do so I'm tired being treated like a teenager. I'm sure you guys understand. So, the next thing I want to talk about is my back hair probably started growing more about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. So, I have not a large amount of back hair, but it's getting to where I might consider waxing it. Um, I have shaved it, but it's kind of difficult to do by yourself since. I'm single, so there's nobody really to shave my back. I'm not going to ask my siblings to do that. Um, there's notes down here, so so I don't forget anything. Uh, I definitely have more stomach hair, but I had a lot of stomach hair anyways. And I'll show you guys that when I show you my chest. So after that, um, I have lost like around 50, 55 pounds since I was on here last. And that's good. And I'm still working on that. I have like a meal plan and like I go to the gym pretty often. Um, did miss a while, but I'm back on that. Uh, my facial hair has filled in. I don't have any facial hair right now because <laughs> I decided to shave it all off. I usually have the goatee, just like in most of my other videos. Um, it has filled out more especially down in this area but it is starting to go up so if you're waiting and you're stressing about whether or not you're just gonna have like the neck beard don't worry it does get better so let's see um, I do have maybe some muscle growth but that could be the gym and losing weight so I will show you guys my chest as of right now, and we'll see what you guys think of that. So, um, this is my chest after four and a half years. I had surgery again with um, she, Dr. Crane took over for Dr. Brownstein, but I had Dr. Brownstein as my surgeon, so I had the drains. Dr. Crane does not do the drains, which is fantastic. I've had couple of friends go to him and he's a fantastic doctor as well. I do have, um, I put my arms down, I do have some extra skin right here but um, and I do have like slight bulges right here but they're kind of going away as I'm working on my chest so I'm not really that worried about that. I do have like a slight dog ear but also I'm a heavy person so when I lose weight maybe that's going to make a difference. So stomach hair, <laughs> that's 
and after that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But stomach hair, because I'm blonde, um, pretty much my entire stomach is covered. My entire chest is covered. Uh, I'm not really going to show you my back, because you're probably not going to see be able to see it that well. Uh, muscle growth, that's about it. Like, uh, I'm not going to show you my legs, because they've always been big. So there's really no difference there. Um, I'm, I have started doing my injections myself since uh, I broke up with my last ex. So I've been doing them in my thigh. And I've noticed that it's slightly more painful doing them in the thigh than doing them in the hip. But it could be because my skin is thickening. I have noticed that as well. <clears throat> so, if you're doing your own injections and you're doing them in the thigh, I would like to know um, how you how you do that. Um, whether it hurts or not, whether you feel like your skin is getting thicker. I feel like mine is, but that could just be in my head. I do mine bi-weekly. I think I'm supposed to do it once a week, but I can't bring myself to do it once a week because I don't want to poke myself that many times in the lake. Uh, I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and type them in the comments, and I'll answer them for you. As for uh, binder giveaways that I want to do, I do plan on doing them again. I am almost done with... Uh, my medical assisting degree so I will be getting a better job pretty soon so I'll be able to do that for you guys again um, after that um, anything else you guys want um, me to maybe donate to you guys if you need it once I'm actually in a solid job again so just let me know for, down in the comments and then I'll reply back. So thanks guys. Nice to see you again.